for today's video. I'm going to be showing you what came in this month's BoxyCharm box. I do get sent BoxyCharm. I don't pay for it myself. But last month I was very impressed by the box. It was like over a $100 box and you only pay 20 bucks for full size products. So I'm very excited to show you guys what came in this month's box. This box came in the mail on Valentine's Day and I was looking for a lip color to wear on Valentine's Day. And when this came in the mail I opened it up and I, I wore this lip on Valentine's Day. It's called Pink Star. It's from Jing Ai. I think that's the brand. Um, I'm wearing it on my lips right now. I know that's kind of cheating. But hey, now you can kind of see what it looks like. I put this right in the box just so I could have it in the box to show you guys. Um, but this is what it looks like here. It's like a... Ooh, it's all dirty already. It's just a mechanical jumbo pencil for your lips. It does give a little bit of a shine, but let me tell you, I can give you like a mini review really quick. Um, on Valentine's Day, me and my boyfriend went to the auto show. And it took three and a half hours to get there uh, because the traffic was just so backed up and bad from everyone wanting to go. This lip color lasted the entire three and a half hours and it lasted the, an extra two hours since we got there. So, so this lasted almost six hours on my lips so I was very impressed with it. Um, I don't know if it technically says that it's long wearing. Um, let's see here. Yep, it's long lasting. So. I was very impressed with it. I did not feel like my lips were super dry, and I really like the color. It's like a like a flowery color, kind of pink. But yeah, I really like it. I was very impressed with it, um, and I'm probably going to be wearing this throughout the month of February. Even though there's only like 10 days left of February, I feel like I got my box pretty late. It's I got it on Valentine's Day, so that's two weeks into February. Kind of weird. This is worth 22 doll hairs. Alright, this is the next product I see here. This is a brush from Modern Minerals. Um, this is a full size brush and it's worth $15. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of this plastic so I can touch it. I don't think I have a brush that really looks like this. Oh, here. Huh. Different. It says you could create smoky eyes with this, but this is like super, super firm. I don't really have a brush that's like this. This is a super, super stiff brush. It says you can create smoky eyes with it, but to be honest, I'm not going to be using this for smoky eyes because it is so, so stiff. Um, if I use this brush, it's going to be used for, I don't know, like concealer or putting on some kind of cream shadow or a cream base for my shadows just because it is so stiff. Um, it is dual fiber, so you can use it with cream products, but I just don't see myself using this with powdery eyeshadow because it's just so stiff. I will keep you posted on this brush because I don't know if I'm going to love it, to be completely honest. It's a very weird brush. Um, alrighty, let's see. The next is this facial mask from Mulane and Sparrow. It says Deluxe, so I don't think that this is a full size product um, because it's only one ounce. Oh, that looks so like luxurious. Uh, it looks like a powder product. Let's see here. Mix a small amount with water to form a smooth paste. Apply to moistened face, neck, and chest. Avoiding the eye area, allow mask to dry. Gently remove with warm water followed by a cool water rinse. Use at least once a week for a deeply clean, radiant skin. Most effective when applied following our herbal facial steam. I'm excited to try this. I've never heard of this brand before. A lot, of, like a lot of the stuff that I've gotten so far from the last boxy charm and then this boxy charm, I've never heard of a lot of the brands. So I'm excited because I'm trying new stuff that I've never would have even thought to look for. So it's pretty cool. Um, next, this I was really excited about this pull that off. Oh no, you're supposed to stay on. This is a complexion corrector. Cream to powder complexion corrector is rich with coconut oil and shea butter with a silky matte finish that leaves your skin hydrated and blemish free. The super light formula instantly masks redness and broken capillaries and hides imperfections with one touch for all skin tones. This is worth $36.99 Canada dollars. So I don't know what that is, like, America? So it's super dark for my skin, as you can see. However, 
I wear pretty dark foundations. Um, my foundations never match my body and I don't really care. I just bring it down my neck and no one will know the difference unless I go like this and then you'll be able to see the difference. Um, but this should work. Let me put a little bit on my face to see if I can, to see if it'll work. I need a mirror. Let me get a mirror. Yeah, see that works. It'll work on my face. Ah, how nice. I like it. I don't have any concealers that are in a lipstick looking form like this. Um, I think this is really great to kind of keep in your purse for on the go. It's nice because it has the cap, it looks like a lipstick, and you can just dab and rub it in with your fingers, which is the suggested way of using it anyways. So I will keep you posted on how this works. Uh, I'm glad that it will work with my foundation. Um, the only downside in this is that not everybody is going to be able to use this color. Since I get BoxyCharm sent to me, I'm not sure exactly how it works when you kind of sign up. Um, if you sign up and you take some sort of quiz to show your skin tone or whatever, then that's fine. Um, but if not, then that kind of sucks for the people that have a different skin tone than this. But um, very cool. I'm glad it works for mine. I will let you guys know how it works over time. This last item is a nail polish. It's called Heart Attack. It is a full size. It's worth $16. That is an expensive nail polish. So let's go ahead and get this out of this box. It's by the brand NCLA. Oh, so cute. I should have put this on my nails for Valentine's Day. It's just a bunch of little teeny tiny hearts. And I'm probably going to do like my ring fingers with it because they're so cute. I don't have anything like this. So I will let you guys know how this works right now. Let's see. I can open it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my goodness. Seal it so tight. I want to show you, but I can't open it. Oh. Okay, so it works once I got some toilet paper. Okay, great. So nothing is coming on. My nail, my beautiful nail. So I'm going to ruin my nail polish. Um, it's a great idea, it's a great concept, but it isn't working very well. It's like a super thick formula. I want to use it because it's cute, but I think how I'm going to use it is I'm going to take it um, on like a piece of paper and then grab like tweezers or something and place it on my nail because it's impossible to get it to look how you want. Like it's ruining the nail polish underneath because it's so thick and goopy and I can't like spread it out. But I think it will work if I put it on some paper and tweezers and put it on individually that way because it is super cute. So I'm going to go ahead and total up this box to see how much it would have cost if I bought everything individually. Um, to be honest, for my first impression of this month's box, the only thing that I would have bought personally is probably this lip color. I really do like the lip color. Um, and I think the concealer is kind of cool. Other than that, I definitely like January's box better than February. Um, you're about at $105. So last month's box was more expensive than this one, but you are only paying $21 a month. So you're getting $100 for $21. Bucks. Still an amazing deal and everything's full size. Minus that mask. That facial mask I think is a baby size. It says deluxe when everything else is full size. Overall still a really great deal and it's really cool to try some new stuff. Um, I will keep you posted on some of the things that I was kind of like iffy about. I'm sure if I play with them I'll figure out a way to get them to work. So I'm going to go ahead and fix this nail since I ruined it with that nail polish. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and fix this nail and uh, let me know any of your requests down below in the comment section and I will see you guys in my next video.